Dragon sister! Dragon sister! Shift! Carry your own con yami! Drop that book! I have a problem which I believe you can solve. A problem? What's that? I'm having difficulty with the assignment Mr. Shego gave to us yesterday. And I know you to be a brilliant student in our class. I would love you to help me with it. Alright, it's fine. Can I see it? like to invite you to my house for dinner just to say thanks sure that's fine i mean like you said we're classmates uh, molly's here to to help you out or are you trying to pay me for what i did oh, no i'm not trying to pay just dinner just say yes please that's fine it's all right can i have your number so i can call to direct you to my house oh okay i'll just write it for you just write it down There you go. Okay, see you there. <laughs> I'm so happy, my dear. <laughs> ah, this is good news. Indeed, very good news. Very good news, I like it. <laughs> God, thank you. <laughs> so, where is he from and what does he do for a living? Um, Daddy, he's a lawyer. Although he doesn't have a chamber of his own yet, he works with Solomon and Solomon Chambers. Okay. okay. At least he has something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how long have you known him? He's my church member. We've known for a long time. But we just became friends about three months ago. Oh, that's good. My pastor has given him the go ahead to come and see you people. All right, so when are you bringing him to see us? When are you bringing him? You want to see him? Uh, Daddy, you're actually supposed to give me a date on when we should come. Oh. Okay, so how about next weekend? Saturday. Saturday, precisely. Okay. Hmm? Thank you. Thanks for the food. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think I should be leaving. I have, um, I have things to do. So soon? Yeah. Uh, I know, you're going home to read. Book one. <laughs> so tell me, do you have a girlfriend? Is she in this school? Girlfriend, girlfriend. No, I don't have a girlfriend. Really? A fine young man like you? I actually came to study, so that's what I'm doing. I don't really have time for girlfriends now. Yeah. All right. I will let you go. Yeah. But please, I would like to always hang around you so you can bring me up to the speed with her coursework and science. That's all right. Um, whenever you need me, I'll just offer any assistance I can give you. All right. Okay. Alright. Okay. 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 I'll call you on the phone. Okay. Alright. Okay. Take it. All right. Oh. Been good. See you. <laughs> Hey, 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 come, 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 come here. Kapo! that bring in three new members will be promoted. And you know what that means? Bring in three new members, you'll be promoted. Refuse, you are going down. Confirm. Dragon sisters. Dragon. Dragon sisters. Dragon. Let's the sailing begin. Ariwa, Ariwa, Ariwa Suegwe. Find your way, no John Dragon. Ariwa Suegwe. Ariwa, Ariwa. Ariwa Suwebe, Ariwa, Ariwa, Ariwa Suwebe, Ariwa, Ariwa, Ariwa Suwebe, find out where no dragons are. Ariwa Suwebe, Ariwa, Ariwa, Ariwa Suwebe, find out where no joint dragons are. Arua, 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 Suwebe, find your way, no John Dragon, Arua, 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 Suwebe, Arua, 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 May I know why you asked to see me? Where have you been all these days? I've been in class. And since when have you become a regular student in class? What do you mean? You started with your nonchalant attitude since the day David came into your life. Oh, I see. So this meeting is all about David. You have to leave that guy. It's not your class. Neither does it belong. Why? Don't you have girlfriends all over the campus? Do they belong? Yes. Come! Listen up. You're talking to the Black Beast. Number one. I made you the leader of the Dragon Sisters. And I have the right to tell you who to date and who not.
on the day of the induction. It was well pronounced to you that you can date only a courtist. It's either you leave David alone or you step down. Fun to be with. Everybody liked him. But at some point, uh, the school authorities uh, felt what he did was very offensive. And they sent him out. To me, I did. Guys. It's Felix, a cap on one. What? Felix, a cap on one. What are you doing? I I'm leaving. Where are you going? I'm leaving. Yes. I, I don't want trouble. My son. You take this. You have to manage that. Remember your mom left some things on the table for you. As you're leaving tomorrow, make sure you pick it. And don't fail to call us if you have any problem. That's fine, Papa. My son David, remember to be calling us from time to time in case you need anything in school. We might not have much, but the little that we have will assist you in any way that you want. Is your business with Tina? What, what kind of question is that? Ah, yeah. So, Capone the Yan in the chat. You know the fear? I'll repeat myself again. What is your business with Tina? She's my girlfriend. This close to Tina.
<laughs> Lucky job. Hey baby, why the cold look? You were not in class today. I had to run an errand for a friend. Who are you, Tina? What do you mean, who I am? Who are you? Don't even lie to me. Who are you? Who are your friends? The kind of company you keep. Who are you, Tina? You just call my name. I'm Tina. I've heard a series of stories about you, but I've refused to believe any of them. Now let me bust your bubbles. If you guys came into the class today, threatened to kill me if I do not leave you alone, who are they? Who are you, Tina? I'm the head of the Dragon Sisters. What? How did you get yourself into that, Tina? It's a long story. Please don't leave me. Now listen to me, Tina. If you don't want me to leave you, you have to denounce being a court member. You have to denounce being a courtist. I can't. I've gone too deep. They threaten to kill me if I don't leave you alone. That is why we are here. And I, I, want, I want to believe that uh, our request will be granted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sir, I feel so strong. Daughter, we have some visitors here, and they said they came here because of you. One of them in particular said he is here because he wants your hand in marriage. Do you know any of them? Yes, Dad. Which one? The one in blue. All of them? Everybody. <laughs> 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 well, yes, my brother. Yes, sir. Well, she has confirmed that she knows somebody in the midst, so the ceremony can go on. Okay. <laughs> You know, it's you to be something I you But I might be you today. You know, this call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you telling me today? You know, this call. You know, I don't know why they tell you this thing, my brother. I don't want to make anything happen to you. I mean, what's wrong from that? But you already know now, my guy. 
see we have the intelligence all we need to do is help with a few assignments and papa will be just one small thing you know everything pop see the drop pop see the drop we get to survive Actually, no, no level nothing really serious between myself and her you know we just we just friend you know why i, I tell you this thing you know you you know book one you two no book with you now if you read the past exam eh? <laughs> but i don't want to happen to you i bet don't you gotta see don't this logistics again. normal level you go do assignment for all these girls you will drop based on logistics. No, I didn't go in. You don't do it. You do the job. You do the job. Chase ya. Chase ya. Where are they, Louis Andre? What is this I'm hearing? That you're still dating David. Haven't I one deal to leave that guy alone? Have you seen? There are over 20 young men out there who belong to the blacklist. You can make a choice for many of them. What has gotten into you? Have you forgotten who you are? Capone, I'm sorry. I can't help it. I love this guy. Shut up. Well, I've been thinking. I've been thinking. It's either you are him to join the black beast or you step down. Chase ya! This is the last time I'll discuss this with you. Remember who I am. The black beast. So you prefer this one to this one? No, mommy, this one is very churchy. I don't like it. I don't like that combination hey. at all. Okay, well, let's continue. I think I like this. This one? Yes. yes. But I don't know if it's because it's the woman is beautiful. Yeah. Though. The Not dress is nice. The combination is perfect. It's nice. So we can do yellow and black. Mm. <laughs> Welcome. 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 Mm -hmm. Welcome, Daddy. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> hey! Uh, how, are you? Is, how are you? Welcome. Fine. So, Daddy, how was it now? It wasn't easy at all. Mm, I know. You know this village people. And the particular interest they take in the marriage list. My goodness. Mm. I was arguing with them on almost every item on that list. Yeah. I even had to intervene between them and our in-laws to be. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, Daddy, let me quickly get your food then. Oh, definitely. I'm oh. Are okay. you asking him? Go and bring that for that food. Ah. <laughs>
Kobe. I'm not worrying. I've been trying very hard, but for two days now, this one is sweet child. I even went to his house. Don't worry, Mom. If you make a hear something, I'll be If you make a hear something now, you and this your Jew boy, what's all waiting now? I tell you the reason my own matter, I use your own is for my own again. I don't tell you now, what's all? You think what they prepare me pass for this matter, my PC? This guy no the romantic at all. Eh? That guy bring me respect in your woman, my daddy. Just say they kill yourself over this guy. You think they prepare me enter my kidney? They tell you. Ruby, I'm serious. Have you called him or check on him? I will do that again. Hey! See what you do, the reason with her. No! See what you do, the advice CP. Make it, make she go look for the guy. I'll be call him, I'll be even the search for him. You know, don't say what's in the reason with him now. See, no good. <laughs> say, CP, don't fuck up. Say, she no suppose even they mingle with this flat guy. No, no, say the guy in a flat guy. Wait, if I, if I pass the beer, what will you drink yesterday? I'm not just understand. See, you need to try you. Richard Cardo, she forgive us. More carry the brother matter. Because they can't pose. We suppose mingle body with this kind of flat guy. I want to see a fine boy. Man, wake up. Don't mind them. Go and check on him. Call him and know what is going on. <laughs> see, you know, best friend, I love you. Don't say the matter for me. Marriage are different things. Why are you getting worked up over this whole issue? We're getting married in less than God knows how many days. Martha, you're beginning to get me really angry. I have done virtually everything you asked me to do to show seriousness in this matter. I've gone through introductions. Our both families have met. I've gotten your marriage list. Why is it that any time I ask you for little fun, you will come with the excuse of saying this that way? Sex before marriage is sin before God. I will not defile my body. I will never marry a woman I do not know for your information, Martha. Don't say that. How else do you need to know me? You are you're my brother in Christ. You're going to be my husband. You know my family. You know my friends. You know what I like. You, you've come to see my people. They've given you a list. You know my video. Do I know how you test? Do I know if you have the... Do I know your sexual capacity? Do I know if you are a virgin like you pretend to be? What if you're not? What if you're one liar that's trying to lure me to marry you? Martha, I don't know if you're a narrow street or a highway. And for that, I decide. I must know the woman I want to get married to. Jesus, what is this? John, I, I point every spirit of erection in the name of Jesus. John, this is the work of the devil. I know that you don't mean it. John. John. Baby, where have you been? I've searched everywhere for you. Oh my God. Look at bruises all over your body, your face, everywhere. What happened? I was attacked on my way back from class. And I strongly believe your friends are responsible. Tina, you have to choose between me and those cold boys you call your friends. I won't repeat myself again. Look, wipe your tears and pull yourself together. I hate to see you cry over that silly boy. What is he? You have lost nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. I appreciate your courage. Yes. And I thank you for not disgracing this family. Yes. But this should serve as a lesson to you. It's not everybody is in church that is a Christian. What's the lie on this? 
You must never go into marriage without your head. And from now on, every talk about marriage in this house is suspended. <laughs> I want you to go back to school and take a master's degree. I want you to be respected. If that boy had any respect for you, he wouldn't try this nonsense. Why have you not been picking my calls? You have been skipping class. Exams are closed. Have been busy. But is that why you have not been answering my calls? Busy working for Felix? Speaking about Felix, you know he met me the other day and asked me to to either leave you or join his cult group. But I told him I'm sorry, I couldn't do it because I actually came to this school to study and not to become a member of a cult group. So you want to leave me like that? After all we have been through, David, it's not fair. If you truly love him, you wouldn't hesitate to join him. Pastor, I've heard you. Thank you, sir. Though it wasn't easy for us, because I had to travel all the way to the village to cancel the entire marriage process that had been set in motion. And it's okay. Yeah. I accept your apology. Thank you, sir. Pastor, we are not angry with you. No, we are not. Rather, we have a reason to thank God for everything. Yes. A broken engagement is far better than a broken marriage. Such a man would not have been a good husband for our daughter. At all. No way. I am very happy. And I want to thank both of you for your understanding. I believe the good Lord, whom we all serve, would very soon bring someone better into the life of Sister Mata here. Amen. Amen. Yeah. What? I'm fine, I'm alright, I understand. You just need to rest, your parents will be fine, please. Just make yourself comfortable. I'm okay. Um, Nos. Um, have you checked the order? Yes, Um, please, are you. Mr. David Chukuma. Yes, my parents were brought here. Please, how are they? I need to see them now. Your parents were hit by a reckless driver. A good Samaritan actually brought them in today. But your mom died at the spot. Oh, sorry about that. What? Take it easy, okay? But your father is alive. Except for the fact that he has a bad mood. Okay? Just, just be a man. I know how you feel right now. But you were a man. I'm just sorry. Where, where are they? Where's my mom? Can I at least see her? They're actually... Yeah. Right Listen, now. I need I need to see them now. No. Okay, okay. Just, just have a seat, okay? Just give me five minutes of time, okay? I'll get back to you. Just right now, pull yourself together. I'm sorry. It's okay, okay? Thank you for what both of you have done for me. 
so grateful and I thank God for both of you. Under this condition and under this predicament, your mom has long been buried. And I want to suggest you should find a menial job to support yourself. As you can see, there's nothing I can do for both of you. That is pretty calm and you have to help yourself. You have to do something so that you can support yourself and your academy. Papa, I've heard you. I'll try to get a job once I get back to school. You have to stay strong for us as well. Um, I used part of the money we got from Mama's burial to buy some plantain. I was thinking um, Nonso can uh, sell it after school hours. That's okay. So we can, we can use the money to help you and also feed. That's okay. Uh, Mr. Namdi and uh, Auntie, they promised to help us in any little way they can. That's so good of them. Thank you. Grateful. <sighs> so grateful for both of you. Without you, I don't know what it would have looked like.
Yes, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Capone. Capone, see, I don't even understand. This um, Tony guy, the way the guy is going about things, I mean, the guy is on our head and he's been there for two. He's pretending to be a Christian when we all know he does all the dirty job for his court group, the horse riders. That's going to be difficult to think it's a church. Leave that to me, David. You have nothing to worry about. I have my eyes everywhere. Give me up, please, 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 please. I promise to tell you everything. Take please. off the max, please. Hmm? Take off the max. Take off the max. Take off the mask. Who are you? Please. Uh, Who are you? Please. What do you want to judge? Please, please. Don't give me up to the police, please. Who are you? <laughs> I've heard your story. I must say it's rather pathetic. But all glory be to God. I believe he has a reason for bringing you here. I've made my decisions. You will have to stay here with me for some time. But that is on one condition. First, you have to give your life to Christ. And also get yourself registered in a Bible school so that you can grow in the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. Along the line, I will get you a job so that after some time, you can go back to school. 
maybe as a part-time student in a different institution. Thank you very much, sir. I've heard you. Let's thank God. For all glory belongs to God. And that reminds me, I want you to call your parents. Tell them you have decided to drop out of school for some time so that you can work and save some money. Thank you, sir. I'll do everything you said. Okay. I'm having a meeting with some of the elders of the church. For the time being, make yourself comfortable. I'll see you the moment I get back. Yo, Tino. You called me your phone. You're sounding so worried. What is the problem? Any biggie? Felix, where is David? It's over two months now. We have not seen him. Tina, I've searched everywhere for David. I even went as fast to the police stations around this vicinity. But he's nowhere to be found. We have to keep searching for him. Well, if we must continue the search, you have to search for him yourself. As you can see, I have a class to catch up with. Are you staying? Or are you going with me? Stay and do what? I'm uh, leaving. Okay, just hold on, okay? Let me put my stuff together. I'll join you soon. David is a grown up man, come on. Can you sing it with me? We are John with the sun. We are children of the We are One more time. We are here. We are joined We are Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank Pastor for giving me this opportunity to share the word of God with you. I, I am not going to waste much of your time. I'll just go straight to the point. How many of you came with your Bibles? If you're with your Bible, let me see your hands up. Are you open with me to the book of uh, Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21? Oh, yes, I actually told him I needed to talk to you about something very important. You see, sister, I was praying, and um, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me. You see, I'm not the type of man that says, Okay, let me just go straight to the point. You see, the Spirit of God spoke to me. He revealed to me and told me that you're going to be my wife. Yes, I don't know if you've also had, you know, the revelation. Uh, actually, right now, no, but I'm thinking that I would have to... I, I, I think you should pray. You need to pray and uh, ask God 
for direction so that God can also reveal to you, you know, so that we can both be on the same page. Okay, um, I haven't had any revelation, but I will pray about yes, it. Yes, you need to pray. It's very important that you, you do so. Thank you. Would, would that be all? Yeah, that's all. That's that's all. In fact, I when when the Spirit of God spoke to me, I was I felt very reluctant to tell you, so I had to tell Pastor uh, to tell you that I needed to see you urgently. Okay, yes. Pastor um, David. Let me let me see you. All. David, my son, I am happy you have chosen Sister Martha to be your wife. Martha has been a very faithful sister in the vineyard of our Lord Jesus. She's a woman with good virtues. Thank you very much, Pastor. I appreciate it. Anyway, um, the marriage counseling will commence Tuesday next week. Um, okay. And it will run for three months. You can go ahead, make your preparations, plan for your wedding and uh, what do they call it, traditional, whatever. <laughs> Okay, um, you have my consent and blessings. Oh, thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you so much, Pastor. You're welcome, you're welcome. Come on, let us pray. Father, I thank you for these ones. I thank you for what you're about to do in their lives. No, no, that's not going to be more than mine. <laughs> no, this, no, really? I'm just going to ignore it. Are you serious? Yes. They had to pour, make yours more than mine. Okay. I want this one. Take this one. Nice. Because I care about you. So. That reminds me. Um, you asked me to remind you about going to your father's old house to pick up something for the wedding. Oh. Do you know I forgot? Babe, I don't... I'll go on Friday. Friday is fine. I forget everything these days. I barely remember. It's all anything. right. You have lots. I mean, you have so many things to do. So I know. I can help you do a few things if you don't mind. No. See. I mind. <laughs> You're doing enough already. See, I care about you. <laughs> there you go. Hey, um, Martha, yeah? there's something I need to talk to you about. Yeah? No, no, listen, listen. I need to talk to you about something. Okay. I need to take a stick of time. There's something about this place I need to talk to you about. Really, right now? Okay. David! There's something important I need to talk to you about. You look familiar. Everywhere looks familiar. You know, it's, it's just... It's... Come in, come in. What is it? Oh, God. Everything feels the same. Okay, um, sit down. Let me quickly get something I... Um, Dave, that's not possible. Yes, please, come in. Please. Dave. I feel so ashamed. <laughs> You're really making me uncomfortable. What is it? 
I've been here before. Baby, it's not possible. This is my Listen house. Listen to me. I've been here before. It's not possible. It, this is my house. This. When I was in the world, I was a cultist. I know. My first assignment was to rob and kill from a particular house. I was here. I shot and killed a young man in this house. I also remember an old woman falling to the ground, dying out of shock. It was the devil. David. It was the devil. David. It was the devil. David, you killed my mother. It was the devil. I. You killed my brother. I don't think I can ever forgive myself. <laughs> I know. I know. But I'm a chain by now. So, you mean it is Pastor David who killed my wife and my son? My goodness, I'll get that murderer arrested. Hello? Hello? I know how much you've been so nice to me. God has used you tremendously to help me. Since this predicament, I don't know what it would have been if you were not there. I just thank God for you. I'm so grateful for what you've done what God has used you to do for me. Yesterday, David called me. David called me. Yes. He called you. Yes. David said the case will be starting very soon. And you have to take To see that man, you have to take me. I want to go and see that man. I lost my wife. Oh. I don't want to lose my son. You will not lose him. 
You will not lose him, brother. Do not take me to the man wherever he is. He will go. It will be here. He will go. Ask me not, O oh gentle Savior, hear my humble cry. When all others thou art calling to Pass me by, Savior, 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 hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Father Lord, Father Lord, I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. David. David, I love so much. But how do I stand? How do I stand to marry the man that killed my brother? Would I not be betraying the memories of my mother? How do I find myself in this kind of situation? What do I do? What do I do? Why do you always put me in this kind of situation? Why did I even meet him? What do I do? God, I can't even help myself. Brother, how long will we wait here? How long will we continue to stand here under this sun and wait for this man? Take it easy. Take it easy. I am taking it though. First it was a dead man embarrassing us at that gate. Now we are inside. And we are, we, are, we are waiting. Still waiting. One hour now. We are still waiting. That man is inside here. He knows that we are here. In fact, he's hearing my voice now. But he refused to come. I don't, I don't know why rich people always see us poor people as if we don't breathe the same air. We breathe the same air. Take it easy. Brother, don't we shit in the city. Don't they shit. They shit, we shit. Take it easy. I'm we, taking it easy. I came here to bleed. Sorry. I came here to bleed. Sorry. We should not make him angry. Sorry. We don't have any reason to make him angry. Sir, this money, I will make money. Take it easy, calm down. Huh? You're welcome, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. I just come to plead with you to forgive my son. Even if you will not give us your daughter in marriage. No, we don't want her again, please. One piece. We've had enough. The past three years, it's been enough predicament. Look at me. I'm on a wheelchair today. A few years ago, sir, a reckless driver just rattled us. 
kill my wife on the spot. Mama. Look at me today. Mama guy. God will punish that driver. I'm on a wheelchair. My son was into cultism and into robbery. But I thank God for the good. Mercies and all that he has done. Today, it's a brand new fellow. Lisa, forgive him. Please, it's a change fellow, forgive him. This accident, how many years ago did you say it happened? About three years ago. Precisely on a Monday morning. Please, sir, forgive him. Okay. Give me some time to think about your son's case. Um, for now, um, please, sir. I have a meeting to attend. I'll get back to you, people. Please. Thank you. Thank you. He's walking away. Well, but you said he should forgive. Calm down. <laughs> Take it easy. He was. What did want to say? Go, go. We right? just came here to beg him. But well, we pleaded to now. Beg him. <laughs> hey, what is there to forgive? Huh? See the way he walk out on us. Huh? Rich people. Rich people. What, what is there in Take it easy. What is there in forgiveness? Just forgive somebody and, and, and you, you, you do that. Open that gate! 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 Pastor. And Martha. I requested for this meeting because um, I have a confession to make. Three years ago, I took a business trip to Asaba. This was about nine months before the unfortunate predicament took the lives of my wife and my son. While I was driving, I lost control of the car and rammed it into a man and woman standing in front of a building. I panicked. And I didn't wait to find out what had happened to the man and woman. So out of panic, I drove away. I was troubled for a very long time. Two days ago, when David's father came to visit and plead for the release of his son from incarceration, I instantly recognized the man as the same man who, together with his wife, I had rammed the car into. When he recounted the incident, I came to learn that he had become disabled by reason of that accident and had also lost his wife. Jesus. So by a certain twist of fate, Nemesis had caught up with me. Because the same man who killed my son and who caused the death of my wife is the same man whose parents I had rammed that car into three years ago. By a certain irony of fate, you could say, I am the cause of this whole predicament. Mr. Sun, it takes a lot of courage for anyone to confess to whatever crime they have committed. If what you are saying is the truth, 
I want you to release David from the police custody and plead for his forgiveness, just as he will want you to forgive him. I will also advise that you allow Sister Mata here to take her own decisions. I believe she has the right to decide if she wants to continue with the wedding or not. Um, <clears throat> David, when I found out that you had a hand in my brother's death and that of my mother, I was really devastated and angry. Now that I know everything, I, I feel really bad. I implore you to please forgive my dad. I'm sure he didn't mean it. I'm begging on his behalf. We're sorry for the pains that we must have caused you. You see... <clears throat> sincerely... Speaking... I forgive your father... From the very moment I gave my life to Christ. So it's all in the past now. So... Praise the Lord. I know how you feel, all right? But shut up! I say shut up! Listen, I, I know I know you liked me. But I need you to understand that we didn't have anything sexual. Alright? You told me you wanted me to help you with your studies, your assignments, and I did just that. Shh! Shut up! Shh! Shut up! Shut up! You never told me you wanted to get married to me or something. Besides, I am born again. I'm a good Christian now. Can you know I'm a pastor? I'm a man of God. Oh, you say you are born again? <laughs> I was born of Satan. Where's this guy? Mama, made that Please. 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 Oh, no. I say shut up! Shut up! I don't want to hear your words. Shut up! Shut up!
Let's go. Come on, sir. 